In the spirit of ending the year by doing good for others, we are going to create some fun gifts for others. And we have Becca Nitta from Aroma Seas. Hi. Becca has been here before, and we've been able to experience her fabulous candles and room sprays and soaps. And we love you, and we're so happy to have you back. But we're today honored. you're going to teach us. Yes. So what are yes. we learning? Yeah, well, I thought it would be fun this time to actually teach you guys how to make candles. And, in, and because it is more difficult than it looks. Okay. Um, you can get kits, and so a lot of times if you get a kit, it's a little bit more simple. But I thought, hey, let's start from the beginning. So awesome. Well, yeah. we love it because all your stuff is clean. It's so the clean. whole idea of creating a clean candle, yes. and what does that exactly mean, just for everyone mm -hmm. to know? So our candles are non-toxic. We make sure that our fragrance that we use is phthalate-free. So a lot of fragrances that you can get on the market come with phthalates in them, mm -hmm. which are endocrine disruptors. And uh -huh. so that can be really problematic for both men and women. Mm -hmm. um, but even little boys have a lot of problems with BPA and things that are in plastics and things like that. So you just want to make sure all the fragrances around your home and your car and things like that don't have the phthalates in them. Got it. So um, we use the phthalate-free fragrance. A lot of times candles will be made with paraffin wax, which is really toxic for mm -hmm. both the environment and for our bodies so we use 100% soy and then our wicks don't have lead in them so a lot of times wicks will come with a lead core and we obviously know that lead is not good for our bodies um, so uh, that's our candles are non-toxic in those ways got it so so we're gonna make some yep, non-toxic so candles. Non candles that smell really good so um, what you'll need at home is a scale and you can just use like a basic kitchen scale and this one's been well loved, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a timer, your iPhone would work. A calculator, some wax, and then a, some type of a food thermometer. Okay. And some spatulas, what you're gonna actually place your candles in. The wicks, what's called the wick sticker. And then these are what's going to actually keep the wick in place once we pour it. Oh. I've actually always wondered. <laughs> so did yeah. I. <laughs> so I brought this. I'm like, how yeah. come it doesn't uh -huh. show up? Right? Magic. Yeah. Happen. So that's the magic. There's the secret of the whole show reveal oh, right okay. now. There's yeah, the that's the big right reveal. There. So we're going to make two candles, um, and we'll do enough wax for two of them. So we're, we're each candle is going to be six ounces. Basically. Okay. So this is six ounces of wax. This is probably what your wax will look like if you get it from either like a local craft store or online. It'll come in some type of form like this. And then you're going to microwave it okay. um, in order to get it melted. So we just did a little bit of magic here. And here's our melted wax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we'll be using to make our candles. Now, okay. a really important part of candle making is the wick. If you don't get the wick size correct, the candle won't burn right okay. and it will either tunnel which means it burns all the way down the center and doesn't ever reach the edges or the wick will or the flame will be so big it'll eat up your wax really quickly. And I remember you taught us that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything yes. about the magic of the wick until you showed so, up on the show. Yeah, right? So yeah. yeah. I know. So that um, anywhere you buy your stuff from they'll always have some type of a wick guide. So just make okay. sure that you measure the diameter of your glass mm -hmm. and put the appropriate size wick in. Okay. So a wick sticker is really simple. You just it sticks to the bottom of the wick. You put it down. I peeled that one. Yeah. And it sticks to the bottom of the glass. And of course. Peel it. Oh, I didn't peel it. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I got so my own you magic. Have, you <laughs> have your own <laughs> magic. Yeah. If it doesn't stick without the sticker part. All yeah. Without peeling. Thank you. That's why Lauren gets right, a big That's where she gets a big buck. Thank you. All right. So then you just I'm stick here all it. Night. <laughs> and then press it to make sure that it's in really secure at the bottom. And you want to try to center it. Okay just so that obviously you want your candle wick to be in the center of the candle for it to burn well. So we'll just do the other one so we can make two of these. Stick it in the bottom. So there should be no fighting yes. amongst the children, <laughs> yes. right? Okay, okay, each, each, each person gets one. Um, so, we'll, so now we add the fragrance. Okay. Um, when you buy your wax, it'll tell you the load or how much fragrance can actually, the wax can handle. Okay. If you put too much fragrance in, it won't burn and it can end up 
drowning the wick. Oh my. Oh. So you want to make sure that you also put the correct amount of percentage. Can you imagine the guilt over drowning a wick? <laughs> drowning that, a wick. that would just be awful. That would awful. be so sad. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to drown. I don't want to drown. I've never thought yes. of it before. It's a new thought. It's a new Huge thought. Tragic. So you do not want to drown a wick. Now we're doing our holiday spruce today. So mm -hmm. our holiday spruce is like a Christmas, mm -hmm. Christmas pine scent. Mm -hmm. So I've pre-measured uh, it. But this is what you would use your scale for. So you'd use the scale both to weigh the wax and to weigh the fragrance. And just be okay. sure that when you're doing it, that you always tear it, meaning put it to zero. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay, so this is where our handy little timer comes right. in. Now, before we pour the fragrance, we want to make sure that our wax is at the correct temperature. So you don't want to put fragrance in until the wax is at about 180 degrees. Mm. And again, this is a science when you make candles for a living, you spend hours figuring out the exact temperature, but we pour ours at 180 degrees. Okay. Right now, we're not going to really care about what the temperature is, but okay. we would make sure that it's actually 180 okay. degrees in a normal situation. So we're going to go ahead and say that that is correct. And so okay. you just, it's as easy as simply putting in the fragrance. Okay. Set your so you timer. Put in a whole little bottle. Well, I, it's pre measured, so this is six ounces of uh -huh. wax times two, so it's actually 12, and then um, it's 0.5 ounces of fragrance per candle, so it's about okay. one. Okay. One yep. ounce for the two candles. One ounce for the two oh, candles. Oh, I can smell. Yeah. yeah. It smells Fresh amazing, right? Fresh <laughs> yeah. right now. So and then how long are we putting it for? The secret of this is it has to actually be mixed for two minutes straight mm. um, in order for the fragrance to completely meld in mm -hmm. with the wax. So if you're making candles, make sure that you mix it for two minutes, otherwise you won't get a good fragrance throw when the wax is, mm. when the candle's burned. So there's two types of throws with a candle. There's a cold throw and a hot throw. What's a throw? So the throw is how strong the candle is. Oh, okay. So the cold throw is whether you can smell it when the candle isn't lit, uh -huh. and the hot throw is whether you can smell it when it is oh, lit. Wow. So you're actually I feel like we're getting yeah. in on the secret terminology. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go to the store. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go to I Bed Bath. I want bath. a hot yeah. throw, please. And yeah, I'm going to be like, um, so what's your cold what's throw? The throw? What's the throw? Check the throw. What's the throw? Because my yeah. aromacy candles yeah. are way better than Tell yours. Tell them. <laughs> I need to know how the throw works. So, well, I thought that's why I thought it'd be fun to make candles today because you yeah. guys would kind of get the inside yeah. scoop. Yeah, this is really cool. On what. So we'll just go ahead and say that that was two minutes. Okay. okay. And, um, then it's just literally as simple as pouring and it into pour your container. In. Yep. And as long as we've put the wick sticker in enough, that it's should not stay in place. Now, when we pour our candles, we weigh them to make sure that they are all the same mm -hmm. weight. But for you guys making it at home for your friends and family, it doesn't really matter. Mm. And in fact, I love to reuse. Um, jars, bottles, like anything around the house that I think is beautiful, as long as you can find a wick that is the right um, size mm -hmm. for it, mm -hmm. you can use anything and make really beautiful candles from okay. home. And it doesn't have to be in just a, mm -hmm. like a simple glass like we have here. Okay, here's the magic. You just okay. take, take the little uh, metal holder, uh -huh. and that's what... Wow. Allows there the it is, <laughs> right there. Yes, that's the magic. That's, that's the magic. And so then I am imagining you cut down the wick to the appropriate size when it's all done. When it's all done, okay. exactly, Great. yep. So um, it has to dry, or I guess set would be the right term. So mm -hmm. this can, depending on the or the temperature in the room, mm -hmm. it can take anywhere from an hour to two hours. Okay. Um, it's best to make candles in about 72 degrees okay. um, in your house, and then you just cut down the wick. So when you cut the wick, you want to leave about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Um, and then we always put lids on our candles because it helps the fragrance cure. Mm. So you ideally want to let a candle sit for about 10 days before you oh, use really? it, oh, wow. okay. just so that the fragrance will completely cure. Through. So will this turn white then? It'll turn white. It'll look like just like that. that. That's yep. really cool. And, and then, then like, what if you want to like go crazy and like make a red candle yeah. or a green candle yeah. or a blue candle? You sure can. So that's the one we're making today. Mm. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? So favorite. what is the cold throw on this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the percentage, but can you smell it? <laughs> yeah. Totally. yeah. It's got a good It's got cold a good cold throw. throw. <laughs> well, the the cold throw, you want to be able to step into a room with the lid off and like in a small enclosed room, mm -hmm. smell the candle. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the desire. So we test all of our candles just to be sure that they have a good mm -hmm. cold and hot throw. I love that. I love being able to smell it without actually burning the right. candle. Too, because yes. like for safety reasons, it's like just my daughter went through the house last week 
lit every single one of our candles. There was like one in every single room. Oh my gosh. And I was like, hold on, yes. fire hazard. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Turn a few of these off. Yeah, blow a few good. out. Yeah. So that's good. So I'm gonna buy only candles yes, with good cold With a good cold throw. throw. Yeah. You yeah. should be able to smell it pretty readily okay. when you. Yeah. Beautiful. So. So now we wait. So now we'll wait okay. for an hour or two. Great. Just stand here and watch paint dry. And then we'll good. have. And yes. then we'll have then fabulous have candles. So how candles. long will it take? I know it takes ten days to cure, but how long does it take before it gets solid? Um, about an hour or two, hour or two yeah. Hours. So okay. we won't we won't wait for that okay, to happen. Okay. So tell us about you've got a whole holiday line mm -hmm. that you've got here. Yeah. So I'm going to pass these over to Amy because yeah. okay, these are some totally that. different yes. smells. Okay, this one is frankincense and myrrh. It's crazy. I love this for so that. frankincense and myrrh. That's our new one for this Isn't year. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. It, you know what? When I know we both spent time in Israel, right? And that's a very common smell. Yeah. Yep. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Mm. So and we then we specifically my other favorite. Oh, yeah. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Yes, yeah. that one is really good. That, so that's our best seller. I cannot keep that in stock. Oh, well, it smells yeah. amazing. Yeah, that one goes And who knew fast. that mistletoe yeah. had a smell? Mistletoe. Yeah. I didn't know mistletoe. Because nobody's didn't either. quite tall yes. enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> so that's mis yeah, those Usually are really busy mm. doing something mm. else under yeah, the mistletoe. Exactly. Yeah. Now, now I can just go like that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you don't have to worry about carrying a mistletoe with you. Just bring your candle. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. They're beautiful. Wow, those are beautiful. So tell us about the line. How do you get them again? I know you've been on before. Mm -hmm. but I need to order some of these. Yep. So, so you, you can go to our website. Mm -hmm. It's Aroma Seeds. Aroma like the smell and seeds like seeds the day. Okay. S E I Z E okay. dot com. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can order them online. Um, and we, yeah, I just hope that you guys can make something fun for oh, someone or you can always. Be loads and, of fun. Yes. And Thank we do you. have sprays on our website as well. What if so. somebody has a question about candle making? Can they contact you? I actually was going to say we're going to offer a discount to all of the all of you guys who are watching Wonderful. today so if you use the code noel okay. at di and then if you want to just email me directly if you want like more specific mm -hmm. recommendations on where to buy wax or things like mm -hmm. that i'd be happy to do that we didn't want to yeah. bring that onto the show but you guys don't actually do that you we don't, don't teach candle making no. you're just doing it for us because we're special well, yeah you know i know that yes. is, you're yeah. so kind yeah. you're yeah. so sweet but like honestly this is these are the best smelling candles. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. so good. I mean, I mean and the room really sprays and the room oh, sprays. Let me yes. smell this one. Holiday cheer. Yes. Th so these are all of our holiday okay. ones. We have a Christmas tree, holiday Ooh, cheer. That smells amazing. That's are you good. feeling especially cheery right now? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Peppermint patty. Oh. And then the chai spice I think was your favorite when we did uh -huh. um, the show love this love summer. The these uh -huh. are beautiful. Yeah. And the cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. They oh, are beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to send so everybody to aromaseas.com yes. and wonderful. back up. Thank, Thank you, you for so much you. for coming yeah. back. Thanks this was so much fun and You're we welcome. hope everybody will make some clean candles as great gifts and we'll be right back.